Is there anything you can tell this commission about that? No, because that was an, I believe it was an internal matter, operational matter at the level of GPA and the, the, the shareholders. I don't know anything about that. During the time, the, during the mission that you um, accompanied, the, the first mission you said to inspect the ferries, was there any issue or discussion regarding the suitability of the ferries for Gambian waters? Well, yeah, the, the inspection was mainly to physically confirm that these are the ferries and to know what type of ferries they are. I recall that they, I mean, uh, one-ended, open-ended, and uh, I, we were informed that they were operating in Greece. So uh, it's a technical matter. I don't have much to say about their suitability or non-suitability. That's why somebody technical, I think, was part of the delegation. Did it arise? That's my question. The, their suitability, did it arise during the mission? Sorry? The suitability of the ferries for Gambian waters, yeah. did it arise at all during the mission? Yes. The, uh, that's what I said. It's a technical issue, and there was a technical person in the mission, and one of the objectives of the inspection was to look at whether they would be able to operate in the Gambian waters. Mm -hmm. And what was the conclusion, if you recollect? I don't recall what the conclusion was. But I believe it was that, yes, they could operate here. That's, that is what I believe. Mm. All right. Um, okay. Thank you. Um, that's all I have for Mr. Ture. Very well, Mr. Ture, you may leave. We'll be calling you, you back on all the subjects, but Thank you. when we locate the paperwork, we may okay. call you again. I call Mr. Momodu Savali. Mr. Oh, okay. So are we just reminding you of your oath that you're still on the oath? Okay, you can have a seat. Mr. Sabali, you've been yes. summoned today with regard to the acquisition of two ferries um, from Greece. I'll show you exhibits SC35, which is a letter dated 30 March 2011 from Office of the President to Social Security and Housing Finance Corporation, um, advising the corporation to pay the sum of 979,375 euros into an account for the acquisition of two ferries from Gallia Holdings Limited in Greece. And attached to that instruction is um, details of a bank account. Um, in the name of Gallia Holdings Limited, Sabali Momodo and Ture Keba S.
Are you Dibomudu Sabadi? Indicated in that document? Trying to go through the document right now to see. Yes. Could you tell this commission the circumstances of your becoming signatory of, to the account and um, your connection and what you know about the acquisition of those ferries? Yes, back then in 2011, I was a director of budget at the Ministry of Finance and I was instructed by my boss, the then permanent secretary, to travel with a team to Greece on a mission that was uh, put together by the presidency in the matter of acquiring ferries. So I, I traveled and uh, met Mr. Toure there and other members of the team uh, for the identification of ferries among other matters therewith. And uh, when I came back from that trip, I was asked by the office then, the finance ministry, to be representing them in a task force that was charged with uh, handling the matter of acquiring those ferries and related matters. And uh, as representative of the Ministry of Finance, I was asked to be a signatory on that account, and I represented the ministry in all the processes that had to do with the acquisition of those ferries. There were two ferries that were acquired as part of a joint venture agreement with some Greek, two permanent secretaries at the time, but I was given instructions by Sirin Cham, who was one of the permanent secretaries then. What was the purpose of the account? The account was uh, meant for payment of acquisition of ferries, if my memory serves me right. Why couldn't the monies be paid for from here? Why was it necessary to open such an account? I think this uh, came out of the joint venture agreement we signed with the Greeks. Hmm. I'll, I'll show you um, Exhibit SE 35, it's part of 35, um, this document, and tell us whether you can identify it. Yes, I think this is the JV agreement we signed with the Greeks. All right. Um could you, I, I find it difficult to identify any, any, well not find it difficult, but I cannot identify any clause in the agreement connected to this, these um, accounts. Could you help us if you, if you, if I, I you will please? I would need to please? go through the document. You would need to go through. Fair enough. Um, how was the account managed? Well, um, we were working on the instructions from the Office of the President. And as far as my relationship with the transactions was concerned, whenever payments were supposed to be made, as uh, formulated within the JV agreement, we would seek clearance from the office of the president. And at that time, the, the focal point for the project was uh, a permanent secretary there called Mustafa Yabo. I would send him an email to seek clearance whether we could sign for payments and once he said yes, we would go ahead and do that. Do you have, would he reply by email as well? He would reply by email. I see. You have copies of those emails? I found out that I still have lots of emails uh, relating to these transactions in my, in my mailbox. Do you have copies of these specific ones that you're referring to? asking for instructions to pay and being given the go-ahead to pay? Um, I will have to go and find out again. Um, I'm still digging out the documents. I have a few of them, but I believe these emails would be in my mailbox still. 
um, when would you, at what stage, or what guided your request for instructions to pay um, from Office of the President? Uh, we would normally be sent uh, documents like invoices, for instance, regarding the payments that were due, because I think there was a payment plan regarding the acquisition of the ferries and also the constructions of uh, slipways for the ferries. So they would make a payment request. We will look at it, and based on that, we'll see clearance from the presidency. And once we are given the go-ahead, we'll go ahead and, and give instructions for payments. And these instructions were sent to... This bank was where? Sorry? Uh, this bank was in Greece. Um, I don't recall exactly where it was. Sorry? I don't remember where the bank is. Hmm. You didn't walk into the bank to have it open? No. Uh, well, let me say I don't remember, because this happened like six years ago. I don't remember walking into a bank. Okay. Can you look at the um, Exhibit 35 again? That certainly is a Greek bank. You cannot remember opening a Greek bank account? I don't remember opening an account, but I know I was a signatory, so maybe if I go through the documents, the files properly, I might be able to trace. Right. Um, was the account, well, I expect that since it's an account, a public account, so to speak, because it's public funds that went into the account, uh, was it being managed at the Ministry of Finance? Did you have a file? What, regarding regarding my, this matter? My transactions in relation to, to this were, were all filed at the ministry. Okay. Do you know whether the account was closed? Well, I don't remember. I don't remember. Hmm. Were the Greeks required to pay, also pay into this account? Sorry? The Greek partners, the joint venture partners, were they also required to pay money into this account, or is it an account only for the Gambian side? Well, uh, uh, as per the JV agreement, because uh, we all had responsibilities, what I remember was uh, we had a, a percentage to take care of, and they also had a percentage to take care of. And did you both pay into this account? I don't remember if they paid. Hmm. All right. Um, since... Um, Yes, six years is, is a while. We'll give you time to look at your records. Mm -hmm. And if you need assistance to access records at finance, please let us know. Okay. Because we need to have the records regarding this account and how it operated. Okay. Was it an escrow account, by the way? Uh, I don't know. You, can't, you don't know? Or you can't remember? I don't remember, yes. 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 All right. All right. I will make a copy available to you of, the, of that exhibit or those exhibits if you can collect them by one o'clock. Okay. From, the sec from the Secretariat. Okay. And um, when can you come back? Um, would, um, a week, would a week be sufficient? One sure. week? Sure. All right. We'll let you know then what date after one week you can come back to com complete your testimony on this. These commissioners may have some questions for ne you. Next Tuesday should be okay. Yeah. We are not sitting next Tuesday, but we'll let you know okay. when, when it will be convenient. All right. All right, thank you. Can you collect the exhibits and collect copies at 1 o'clock from the Secretariat? Okay. Okay. Yeah. Very well, you may leave. Thank you. It's about time, but um, if they have somebody... I, I call the Managing Director, Gambia Ports Authority. We can start him, and when it's time, I it, suppose we'll adjourn.
Stratum, may, may we remind you of, of the oath? Mm -hmm. yeah. Mr. Tambedu, yeah, you had um, provided this file concerning the Gallia issue to, uh, to, uh, to, to the investigators. I'll give you the file in case you need it. Do you, would you need it? Any documents in the file? Okay. Uh, Mr. Tambedu, um, as you know, we are looking into the Gallia joint venture, or the joint venture between Gambia government and Gallia Holdings, and the ferries that are um, more that, um, I suppose, somewhere in the river, yes. and that have never been deployed. Um, could you tell us with your own involvement, and we would like you to be as precise as possible in this whole um, in this transaction, and um, also tell us what really is the problem, why these ferries have not been deployed after so much money had been spent, not only on the ferries but on infrastructure, marine works, and public works connected to their operation. Right. Uh, my, my involvement in the Gallia joint venture started when I was director of finance at the Gambia Ports Authority and uh, Hali Abdullah Gai was the uh, acting managing director after Mr. Jiba was transferred to social security as managing director I as director of finance was invited to a task force meeting in the GPA boardroom when they were working on the restructuring of the Gambia Ferry services and when I was called into that meeting I, I was shown I was sold a directive that uh, GPA among other institutions should invest in the procurement of the ferries. I, I then uh, advised the then acting MD, Hali Abdullah Gai, that this needed to go to, to the board and the board resolution was passed in which we li liquidated some Dallasi fixed deposits which were held in various banks and used as security to make the initial payment of, I believe, 1,170,000 euros as the initial investment in the ferries. That was the beginning of my involvement in the Gallia project. Do you have the resolutions or the board minutes in that file? Yes. I think I have a copy okay. of the resolution here with me. Okay, very well. Can you just put that resolution down? At the end of the, I'll apply to have the file admitted. Yes. Okay. All right. So um, you paid one million one hundred and seventy thousand euro. Yes. That was Ports Authority's first contribution. First co contribution. Yes. And there was a board resolution on that. Okay. Then, uh, then continue. After the trips that went to Greece to do the inspection of the ferries, I was informed that they have identified ferries that we should use in the project. Who informed you? 
uh, the delegation that went to Greece. It was uh, the it was the process was managed by the t task force under the chairmanship of initially Dr. Njoguba as SG, and then the subsequent meetings of the task force were chaired by Fatum Bengajalo as the CEO, CEO of Gaipa. The, in, well, they identified the ferries and then uh, required us to pay balance of monies for the capital investments. However, after I was appointed as MD, the I continued with the board resolution and made so that before any request was, any payment was made on the project, that is the joint venture account, where Keba Ture, Momodou Sabali, and Galanakis, the Greek partner, were check signatories. We always sought approval from the office of the president before we made any disbursements. And all the disbursements in total were captured in the board resolution. That was my involvement my, in the actual procurement of the ferries. So by the time you were paying for infrastructure work, you had become managing director? Yes, of, that's correct. You were promoted from finance director to managing director? Yes, that's correct. Um, what were the circumstances of the opening of this account, and do you know why the account was open? Why was it open in that way, an account in a foreign country where you were paying money? Do you know? Ma, definitely. The account details were contained in the documents that uh, Haligai and team brought to us in the board meeting. I remember a memo of April 2011 as Director of Finance, GPA, a memo which guided the preparation of the board resolution. In that memo, signed by Hali Abdullah Gai, it gave details to us on the bank account that was opened. And the bank account was in the name of Momodou Sabali, Keba Ture and Galanakis, the, the three of them. That was how the account, the name of the account itself. And the three of them were the check signatories. Did you ever receive um, statements from the account? No, I have never seen any statement from that bank account. Did you ever receive information about how the funds paid into the account were disbursed? No, I have never seen any statement or any statement of how the funds were disbursed. Do you know whether it was expected to operate like an escrow account or not? No. Hmm. I, I was not privy. privy to how the operations of the account were planned. Did you find out uh, on what basis monies would then be transferred from that account to the beneficiary? Okay. Yes. Uh, what happened my, during the process of uh, the OP through that memo from Hali Abdullah Gai providing the bank details which, which I used to prepare the board resolution they mentioned the, he mentioned the bank details in that memo and when I saw that the Czech signatories were two Gambians um, Momodu Sabali as director of budgets then uh, Keba Ture as Gambian ambassador to Greece or Spain, and then Galanakis, the chairperson of the Greek partners. My feeling was that at least at any point in time, a Gambian would sign with the Greeks. So they would have manage the funds going into that account and out of that account. Definitely, we in the Gambia Ports Authority 
we, for me, I have never seen any statement from that account, and I would have expected maybe the, the, those managing the funds would have reconciled the accounts to make so all monies paid in by the respective shareholders, GPA and Social Security, all the disbursements from that account would have been reconciled to make sure it, is, it was in, spent on the plans that it was intended for. The accounts were to pay for the vessels, is that it? To pay for the two For the ferries. two vessels, yes. Um, did you receive receipts from the sellers to show that they were paid? No, ma. I, I never saw any receipt from the sellers. The, what I saw was uh, after the initial payments were made, the Greeks requested for further sums of money, and then I wrote, that time I was the MD at the ports, I wrote to the office of the president <coughs> complaining that at least there should be substantiated sort of a statement of account to show how the monies spent so far paid into the account have been utilized and then showing invoices from the vessel suppliers to the new joint venture that I definitely wrote a letter which is in our file here to complain that I, I would not recommend further disbursements into the account unless all the claims made by the uh, Greeks are substantiated. But I have a copy of that letter in our file. Is it in the file you provided to us? Well, just give us, it's easier to give us the copies you brought, with, with, yes. I think. Was there any response to that letter from the Office of the President? Yes, the Office of the President replied and then agreed with me that uh, the Greeks are trying to blackmail me and they support our position that the funds, any additional funds needed to be substantiated. Can you pull out those letters, please, and yes. add it to the resolutions that you, you have? Okay. Sorry, at this stage, we'll rise for lunch. We'll be Two back thanks. at 2.30.